right here here this question is asking convert the hexadecimal number 68 be to binary and then convert it from binary to octal now let's see how to convert a hexadecimal to binary uh here's the hexadecimal number provided that is 68 be 68 be now whenever we have a hexadecimal number given and if you want to convert this one into binary we can apply 8421 to each number 8421 comes from you know the weight of the first number 2 power 0 <laughs> weight of that second number 2 power 1 weight of the third number 2 power 3 and weight of the fourth number 2 power 4 and if you add uh, actually 2 power 3 stop the fourth number 2 power 3 it stops right there because if you add all of them together that gives you 15 and we cannot have any uh, number above 15 in a hexadecimal system so that's why it stopped right there now if you apply 8421 to this which one e is what e in uh, hexadecimal is 14 so if you put one in which which numbers that will give you 14 so we need 8 and a 4 and a 2 to make a 14 and other one becomes 0 so like that uh, this one become 1110 for e it's 1110 b is 11 because uh, in hexadecimal after 9 a is 10 uh, b is 11 so to make 11 uh, this is for e and to make 11 what number we have we have to have an 8 and a 2 and a 1 so 1011 and then for 8 we need just one at eight so that is one triple zero and for six we need a four and a two so that is zero zero one one zero and this is the conversion of a hexadecimal number to binary <clears throat> now to if you want to convert from binary to octal uh, what you have to do is first uh, let's group them together 0 1 1 0 1 0 0 0 1 0 1 1 1 1 1 0 okay this is the number we got from here and uh, if you want to convert a number from binary to octal we have to we have to take three numbers at a time from right to left so here i start here and for this one for this hexadecimal to convert binary we use four number but for octal we use three four to one only because we get it on the side because four to one because if you add four two and one seven because seven and seven is the maximum number octal can have so we cannot have anything above than that so four to one we have to apply four to one for each of these three digits I group them by three from right to left. Okay. Uh, since this is zero, we can get rid of them. Like zero means it's going to be just zero. But if you, in in case if you have one right here, you have to put two zeros in front of it and convert this to uh, an octal. But here it's a zero, so we can neglect it. So one one zero. If you add one one zero. What you're gonna get? Four plus two, six. Like that, uh, you apply one, one, one. Four plus two plus one, that's seven. And then zero, one, zero, that is a two. And then one, zero, zero, that is a four. And then one, one, zero, that is a six. Okay, six, four, two, seven, six. This is the octal number. So the conversion of this six, eight, B, E. This is base 16, that's the given one. And if we convert this one to a binary number, we got this 0, 1, 1, 0, 1, 0, 0, 0, 1, 0, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1 0. This is the binary representation of this hexadecimal number. And the octal representation of this hexadecimal number is 64276. 64276 six four two seven six and the base is eight 
and that's how we do these kind of problems i hope you guys find this video helpful thanks for watching don't forget to subscribe my channel see you guys on my next video